All right, welcome back to Sportsline here on News Channel 5 Plus. Your phone calls, as always, welcome. Want to hear from the Titans fans as we get ready for Saturday's a big playoff game against the Cincinnati Bengals at Nissan Stadium. That's a 3.30 kick, and you can watch the game over on News Channel 5. And stick around after the game. We'll have complete post-game coverage live from the stadium uh, afterwards uh, as soon as the uh, game goes final. So uh, keep it locked on News Channel 5 for Titans Bengals. Saturday, 3.30 kick, and then complete post-game coverage. Of course, the story today, he's been practicing for a couple weeks, but today is the first time that uh, Derrick Henry has spoken to the media since October 28th. Of course, he injured his foot, broke his foot uh, in the Halloween game at Indianapolis and has not played since. Titans managed to go 6-3 and three without him and earned the number one seed in the AFC playoffs. Derrick Henry, not official yet, but all signs point to him being ready to go to suit up and play Saturday against the Bengals in the AFC Divisional playoff game. Here now is King Henry. <laughs> So, Derek, how are you feeling? And, and, and uh, for you, I mean, as healthy as you've been in your career, is this the first time you've ever had to deal with an injury like this? Yeah, it was the first time that I got injured during the season and, you know, had to miss you know, the rest of the season. So it was definitely different, um, a little adversity, but, um, you know, just glad that you know, I was able to get through it and have my support system and I'm you know, happy to be back. What's it been like feel? being back on the practice field and maybe what's your excitement level moving forward? Yeah, you definitely uh, appreciate this game a lot more when you're away from it, you're away from your teammates, just having that camaraderie and you know going to, going to work every day and going out to play on Sundays um, each and every week. Definitely miss that and um, you know, just happy to be back on the pre-show of everybody that helped me get to be able to come back and um, contribute during the playoffs and we're just having to be back playing football. How did you feel after getting that extra contact in practice yesterday? Say it again? The, the extra contact that you got in practice yesterday, how did you respond to that? How, did, how do you feel after that? Oh, yeah, I felt great. Um, you know, just want to get some pads on, have, have, haven't had them on in a while, and get some contact going in. I appreciate those guys coming over to uh, help me do that, and, yeah, yeah, definitely felt good. Yeah, what was maybe the, the toughest part of, you know, this whole rehab return to play process, and maybe what helped you get through that? Um, you know, I love football. Um, I mean, it's all I've done since I was five years old, and, you know, it's what I fell in love with. And, um, you know, it's the first time something like this has happened. And, um, you know, just adversity, and just, you just got to overcome it. And um, thank to, you know, thankful for the trainers, um, my girlfriend who was driving me uh, here five weeks straight when I couldn't drive. And, um, you know, everybody that, you know, supported me, Titans fans uh, wrote uh, Get Well letters. I definitely appreciate that. And, you know, just, you know, just having faith in the man above and, you know, just continue to rehab, continue to uh, get healthy and, you know, being able to have this opportunity right here. You've been pretty much indestructible there, you know, for the for the first several years. The the fact that this injury has something to do with, with wear and tear a little bit too, you know, is that is that cause for concern looking forward in terms of the uh, you know the amount of carries and so forth and the and the load that you can deal with going forward? No, I don't think you worry about that. I mean, this football is a game of injuries. Injuries happen, and um, you know you just gotta uh, keep pushing forward. And um, everything happened for a reason. You know, I don't try to get into all the what ifs and this and that, that and this. Just focus on the right now and um, appreciate the journey. And that's all I can do. How like you can pick between the, between your feet that right now in terms of cutting right, cutting left, planting. How close are you to the same same on each side? Uh, I feel good. I mean, I have a big steel plate on my foot. That's only different from the, from the left foot to the right. But I mean, I, I feel good. Just you know, I haven't did anything. Like two and a half months, so you know, just getting back out there, getting acclimated to everything, and you know, get back to being me. You what think you, you can feel? You thing? think you can kind of pick up where you left off? And man, you haven't played the preseason a lot, so I know people talk about rust. Do you feel like you can kind of step back in and, and be be the Derek you were at the start of the season? Well, I mean, it, it all starts uh, out here in the practice field, and you know, um, doing everything I can to be ready for Saturday, and that's just that's then that's where it starts. Just trying to work hard, trying to do the best I can to, you know, be, in the, uh, be the best player I can be for this team and try to um, con contribute as best as I can. But, you know, the work starts out here like it always does. Is how impressive you've been with the job that they've been able to do without you, Derek, to get to this point to get the number one seed? Uh, I, I was definitely the biggest cheerleader. Um, 
you know, it was uh, fun watching them, you know, while I was while I was playing with them. But did a great job. Um, guys stepped in, guys who were hungry did a great job running the ball. And you know, overall as a team, they did uh, a great job as well. And for us to have number one seed, get a bye week, and then coming to the division around, I guess a good point. Is that from a mental standpoint, where are you there? Because I know that's a big part of that recovery process for me. Uh, back playing football. That's all it is. I feel like you'd be ready for a heavy workload on Saturday. You can get into all that, but what if I can do to help, um, you know, I'm always for it. What do you think of the Bengals on defense and what kind of challenge do they present? They've been good against the run this year. Yeah, they did a great job um, just this whole year. And um, watching them against the Raiders, I feel like they did a great job. Um, I know they got a couple guys that, that went down, but overall, you know, they're physical, um, penetrators, um, linebackers. Um, they play very well, experience in the back end. They, you know, do do a great job blitzing, um, um, fast, try to get the ball out, and um, got a great experience. A lot of guys who who, who played together for a couple of years, so we got a hands full. Got, got, got to prepare for them this week. Do you think there's something to think in the first hit on it, it in a game? To, oh, to... All these questions. I mean, I'm not really focused on that. I'm just ready to go out there and play. If you sit there and focus on all that, then you're not going to do yourself. Is there is any advantage, Derek, to, to maybe having fresh legs, you know, not having played, not having had wear and tear for the last three months? Is there a benefit to that going against, you know, maybe guys who've been playing week after week? Well, I would think anybody who hasn't played it too much will, you know, feel pretty good about their body and where they're at, so. Derek, you mentioned the adversity you've been going through these last several months. How difficult was that mentally for you? I know you said it was fun watching the Titans play and do so well, but also how, how difficult was that watching your team and, and being away from your from your organization? Um, it's always hard when, you know, you go down with an injury and, you know, the season's still going on and you love football, you want to play, but, you know, just got to work through it. It's always going to be tough times, you know, when something like that happens, but, you know, um, what don't break you makes you. So that's the mindset I had is just continue to rehab, get better, do the best I can to do what good. You also mentioned your support system, how grateful you were to them and for everyone that kind of supported you through these last couple of months. How often did your teammates reach out to you and how much did you feel that support from your team? Oh, yeah, they reached out to me every day. Um, who, Whoever it was that texted me for each, each game and just, just checking them on me, I definitely appreciated that. And, you know, my teammates are like family, so I definitely appreciated it and um, was rooting for them while I was trying to get back. Did you get a lot of letters? You mentioned letters from fans. Did you did you get a lot of support mail and did you read a lot of it? Yeah, uh, I got um, a pretty good bit of them. And I definitely appreciate it for them taking the time out to um, send love and um, send uh, good well wishes. Um, that's one of the best fans in the league, and um, definitely, you know, it was heartfelt messages, and I uh, definitely appreciate it. What was it like there? You know, back when it first happened, like like we said, you've really had no injuries. How kind of shocking was it, not only to learn you'd been hurt, but that you might be out for such an extended period of time? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was definitely um, shocking. And, um, like I said, this has never happened to me um, my whole career, so. It was just, you know, I was like, well, you know, can't do nothing about it now. Uh, try to you know, get surgery and um, start the recovery process. Just try to get back as quick as I can. So you do expect to play on Saturday? Do I expect to play? I expect to play, yeah. Oh, uh, see how this week goes and <laughs> we'll see where, where I'm at on Saturday. How about the opportunity that this team has, being the number one seed, an opportunity to do something that's you know, never been done around here? How much are you guys looking to hopefully take advantage of that opportunity? Um, yeah, you know, we, we definitely know it starts out here and um, continue to get better in all three phases, um, compete, and then uh, we're ready for Saturday. But well, we have a big opportunity in front of us, and we want, we want to make sure we stay focused every day in the meetings, in the practice field, and then let it lead to Saturday. That last one, that last year when you had a home game chance, how much did that sit with you at the end of that promising season? Yeah, um, you know, not really trying to focus on too much of, of last year, you know, that's in the past, but um, we came up short last year and um, definitely want to do the right things this year so that that doesn't happen. 
There you have it. Titans running back Derrick Henry, uh, again, by all accounts, looks like he is ready to go for Saturday's playoff game against the Cincinnati Bengals at Nissan Stadium, the AFC Divisional Playoff game. If the Titans win that game, then they will host the winner of Sunday's game between the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs, a game you can watch on News Channel 5 Sunday. That's a 5.30 kickoff. Uh, for that game. So it is playoff time here in Tennessee, here in Nashville with the Titans. And uh, we've got more for you coming up here uh, on the show. And we will uh, take a break, come back, and roll some more Titans sound. Stay with us.